Hello friends, in this lecture, we will discuss a short story written by Anita Desai and the name of the short story is Games at a Twilight. First of all, we must know a little bit about the writer and then we will discuss the short story in detail. So Anita Desai is one of the famous Indian novelists writing in English. She was born in India, but nowadays she lives in America. Now. First novel written by Anita Desai is Cry the Peacock, though Anita Desai has written a number of novels. So the first novel written by her, it became tremendously popular. And the name of the first novel written by her is Cry the Peacock. Anita Desai has won many prizes. For example, she won Sahitya Academy Award for her novel Fire on the Mountain. She also won the Guardian Prize for her novel The Village by the Sea. Even Anita Desai's three novels, they were sh shortlisted for the Booker Prize. Booker Prize is the second uh, most important prize after the Nobel Prize in the field of uh, literature. So her three novels were shortlisted for the Booker Prize. However, she hasn't won the Booker Prize. So the three novels which were sh shortlisted for the Booker Prize, they are Clear Light of Day, In Custody, and fasting feasting so that's all about anita desai in brief and now we will look at the short story in detail now through this short story games at twilight anita desai she talks about thoughts and feelings of children and through the thoughts and feeling of children she presents two themes she presents the theme of dissatisfaction means when when somebody uh, wins a game or when somebody achieves something and even after winning that game or achieving that thing if that person is not praised so that person feels dissatisfied so the first theme she presents is the theme of dissatisfaction through the thoughts and feeling of children and the second thing theme she talks about is insignificance means when you are not given importance so that thing also hurts when you have won something when you have achieved something you have achieved something but you are not giving due recognition due importance so this is the second thing she presents through the thoughts and feelings of children why because the short story games at twilight now twilight means dusk means the evening time and games at twilight so from the title we come to know that this short story is about children this short story is about uh, games played by children so that the thing we come to know from the title so definitely uh, this short story is it about the games of children mainly there are four characters and those four characters we will discuss this story in detail first character is Mira who is the eldest child then we have Raghu who is the elder boy then we have Manu who is a younger boy and the central character of this short story is Ravi who is another younger boy actually when this short story starts it's a hot day, it's a scorching heat outside, and that's why the mother, she doesn't allow the children to play outside. The children, they request their mother again and again, they request their mother repeatedly to let them go out of house and so that they can play. But the mother doesn't allow. The children, they remain confined within the four walls of the house. And when it uh, gets evening, so they again request their mother to let them go out. But still, it is heat outside. So at last, the mother accepts their request, but also puts one condition. And what is that condition? That they should play on the veranda and porch. They should not go out of veranda and porch. Now, the children, they agree. So the mother allows them. And the children, they become very happy. They, they become very happy. And they come out uh, of the house. And I think you all know that the children, they seldom 
keep promises no doubt they promise to their mother that they will play on the veranda and porch but still they forget that promise and they decide that which game should they play and at last after thinking a lot they come to the conclusion that they should play the game of hide and seek and now when they decide to play this game now the problem is that who will act as it now what is it it is the it is the person who first of all will try to find out the hidden boy means who will first of all try to find out the hidden boys so nobody wants to act as it so they play a game and through that game they they will decide that who will play it and in this game it is ragu whose turn whose turns come out as it so ragu he decides to perform the role of it meanwhile all the children they hide themselves so ragu he doesn't take much time to find out manu manu who is a younger boy he stands uh, in the middle of the garden actually he doesn't find any suitable place to hide himself and ragu first of all he spots manu now ravi he sits on an upturned pot near garage so when ravi he hears ragu approaching him so Rag ravi feels that he will be caught so all of a sudden he looks around and nearby he finds a abundant shed that shed was locked however there was enough gap between the wall and the hinges of the door uh, for a small boy or for a, a young boy to slip through it so ravi he slips through that gap through that narrow gap so that ragu may not find him now there is extreme darkness there at first ravi feels terrified because he is not able to see anything and ravi starts feeling different things for example he he thinks that this place must be infested with rats and insects he also at one place he at one time he also thinks that uh, there may be a snake in this uh, dark room or in dark place but still he holds on he doesn't come out of that uh, he doesn't come out of that uh, dark uh, place now all of a sudden ravi finds something crawling on his neck he gets curries he gathers curries and he grabs that thing and when he sees that it is a spider and he crushes it he squeezes he he crushes it now meanwhile means after some time ravi gets accustomed to the darkness now all things are visible to him and now ravi finds that in that abundant shed there are a broken pieces of furniture means there are extra things there which which have been which have either been broken or are not uh, usable so ravi he keeps on standing there for some time and after standing there ravi feels tired so he decides to sit and in that abundant shed there is a bath tub bath tub so ravi decides to sit in the bath tub now ravi can hear the sounds or you can say that the noises or you can say that the laughing and chanting of his siblings outside so at one place ravi thinks that he should also come out of the shed in this way he will be caught and he will join his siblings but another moment he thinks that he should not go out of the shed he should keep on sitting here because if ragu is not able to find him so ragu will not win the game will not win the game hide and seek and at last it will be ravi it will be ravi who will come out as 
victorious. So that's why Ravi, he just decides to keep on sitting in the abundant room. He gets lost in imagination. He thinks that when he wins the game, so everybody will praise him. He will become a champion. So in this way, he gets lost in his imaginations. And it gets dark. And when it gets dark, and Ravi thinks that nobody has come to come in, in search of him, and he still finds his siblings singing and chanting outside. So at last, Ravi decides to come out of the shed. Why? Because in the, in the, in the process of winning the game, Ravi forgets that even if he touches the den in, 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 on the veranda, so he will again become victorious. So Ravi immediately comes out of the shed. He rushes towards the den on the veranda. And meanwhile, he also falls down uh, one time. And he reaches the veranda. He touches the den, uh, den and he declares himself victorious. He says, I have won. I have won. Now, when the children who are playing some another game, actually, they are playing the game of Poshampa. That is the game which is uh, quite uh, in fashion in India. So they are playing this game, Poshampa. So the children, they are surprised. And they look at Ravi with surprise, with amazement. Now. Ravi's mother comes there. She asks Ravi, is he all right? Hasn't he heard himself? But Ravi, he comes out of his mother's grasp and he reaches in the center of the children. The children are playing in the garden. And again, when he reaches them, he again declares, I have one, I have one. But again, the other children, they are surprised. They look at Ravi with surprise, with, a, with surprise, with amazement. And they take some time to understand that why Ravi is saying, I have won, I have won. Actually, the reality is that the children have stopped playing hide and seek. They have stopped playing hide and seek. And now they also forget about Ravi. And now they are playing another game which is called Poshum. Now, when Ravi finds that they have forgotten him, so Ravi feels dissatisfied. This is the first theme. Anita Desai conveys this short story, and that is the theme of dissatisfaction. Means if somebody wins a game, if somebody does something uh, special, but if that person is not praised, so that person feels dissatisfied the same is the case with the ravi that he has won the game he has worked really very hard to win this game he even took the risk of his life by staying in the abundant shed because in the abundant shed there may be snakes there may be reptiles of other type but he took the risk of even his life and he kept on he kept on there for a long time, but still, even after winning the game, the children, they are not appreciating him. They are not praising him. So, Man, so Ravi, he feels uh, dissatisfied. Now, meanwhile, children have performed so many activities. While Ravi was, in, was sitting in the abundant ship, uh, in the abundant shed, the children, meanwhile, they enjoyed mulberries. They also helped the driver to wash the car when their father returned from office. And they also helped the garden, gardener to water the plants. And now they have been playing the game of Poshampa. Now, what is Poshampa game? In this game, uh, a tunnel is created with the help of the hands. With the help of two pairs of hands, a tunnel is created. And then the children, they make a lane. And then each and every child just ducks himself or herself 
under that tunnel and, and passes through that tunnel. That is the game of Poshampa. So Meera, she asks Ravi to stand at the end of the lane if he wants to play the game. Now Ravi, he is dissatisfied. And secondly, the second theme which Anita Desai conveys through this short story is the theme of insignificance. Because Ravi, he is deeply hurt when he finds himself not important. Because they are not giving him due importance, which he deserved. Why? Because it was Ravi who won the game. It was Ravi who really worked hard. But they are not giving him due importance. Rather, they talk roughly to Ravi and ask Ravi to stand at the end of the lane if he wants to play this game. So Ravi is deeply hurt. Now, what does Ravi do? He doesn't play the game. Rather, he lies down on the on, on the grass with his face downward and he goes into deep silence. With this note, this story ends. So it is an excellent story written by Anita Desai. And Anita Desai wonderfully depicts the thoughts and feelings of the children through this short story. And secondly, she also talks about two important themes, themes of dissatisfaction and the theme of insignificance through this short story. So I hope that you will like this lecture. So if you like this lecture, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Oxbridge English, and also don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching the lecture.